Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Zanto and today we're going to be doing a review of three lighting fixtures from Venue Lighting. The Tetra 6, the Tetra 12, and the Tetra Bar. I will also be doing a follow-up of this video on Tetra Control. Tetra Control is a DMX controller which allows you to control not only these lights but any other similar lights that you can find that you may already have in your arsenal of lighting effects. So make sure and check that video out right after this one. Just one of the great things about venue lighting is that they're available at Guitar Center. Uh, it pretty much is a Guitar Center brand. Um, they're inexpensive, they're professional, they're easy to use. And real quickly, I'd like to thank Guitar Center. They did send me these lights out to review for you today. So we're going to check them out in this review. If you do like them, please give me a thumbs up. Well, you know, give me a thumbs up if you like them or if you like the review. But if you really like them, go to Guitar Center and buy some. <music> If this is your first time to the channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button. This channel is pretty much dedicated to finding inexpensive yet professional gear for mobile DJs, bedroom DJs, home disco enthusiasts, and anybody who likes to have a little fun at home with professional lighting and or audio equipment. So sit back, relax, we're going to get into the review right now. We have the three fixtures, the Tetra 6, the Tetra 12, and the Tetra Bar, all 4 watt LEDs. Uh, the Tetra 6 has 6 of them, the Tetra 12 has 12 of them, duh, duh. and the Tetra Bar has 12 also. Um, all these lights have sound active modes. They all have automatic modes which flash and or fade. They do have a mic for sound active which is adjustable on a scale of 1 to 10. They also have a dimmer um, so you can dim them manually on the back. If you're in a small room you don't need them too shockingly bright. These are dialed down to 10 out of 99 right now. You can strobe them, you can flash them, you can fade them, you can set programs such as you see right here behind me. They're all in slow fades that are automatically slow fading right now, um, which is cool. And there's different varieties of colors for each one. There's um, 10 patterns in each as far as the flash and or the fading modes. You do have red, green, blue, and orange. Some of us call it amber but those are the colors of the LEDs. It does not have a white LED, it does not have an ultraviolet LED, but obviously you can make white, UV you can't get, but hey, your, all these fixtures are under 150 bucks, all right? And you can get them at Guitar Center, which is, which is sweet. I'm gonna grab one of these lights to show you the menu and the settings on the back. They're pretty common straight across the board for these fixtures. There's really not much of a difference, so if you can control one, you can control any of them. You're gonna notice the DMX out, DMX in, the power link and the power in, the IEC cable. Notice also that you have your little uh, LCD display here with your menu, your up, your down, your enter button. You see a little mic right here. And you see this, this is just a uh, vented area. There is no fan, so these are quiet. You have your mounting bracket and or yoke, so you can stand it up. You can mount your, uh, you can mount a C clamp or an O clamp and hang these. You can also use this as an uplight, and I'll show you how that works later as well. So these are great uplights. Uh, these are for uh, would be good for your normal size rooms. The 12 would be great for taller rooms. And we're going to get into the menu. So we're going to go ahead and plug this sucker in. D is for DMX. What channel DMX would you like to use? I for identity. These can be used in three channel, four channel, five channel, or six channel. The next one would be U is simply for utility, meaning that you can keep this display on always or it'll turn itself off after 30 seconds. That's no big deal. And this is manual, all right? So if you wanted to set up lights and you want to change the color by clicking enter on this, which I'm gonna do, you would now have your red, green, blue, and you would have zero through 255. It's basically kind of like DMX control, uh, totally like DMX control. And you can change each one, red, I'm gonna do it right now, green, blue, which leaves you with the orange. So if I go back into that, you gotta get used to how you go into and out of things but basically menu enter and you'll see r for red and if i am to start pushing that button i just went straight to 255 and that would be full red 
All right, so if I go, I'm gonna go up past it, you're gonna see it's gonna go off, and then you're gonna see it's slowly gonna start fading. Slowly start turning on. All right, I'll bring it down, and then you can do that. It's gonna go right through all the colors by pressing enter after you select it, red, green. So if we wanted to add a little green, you can see we're adding green and we're getting yellow now. So we're gonna add some green. Ah, we're gonna enter that. We're gonna start adding some blue. Enter that. We're gonna start adding some O for orange or amber. And you're gonna see that start to change on the wall. As we add, I'm gonna to go to 255 on the amber just for fun. Huh. and they will go right back to zero when you're done so that's how you manually change things and obviously if you go you can go zero to 255 or you can actually go down i'm going to reset them all you can go down to zero and bam 255 so we're going to take these all the way back to the original settings which is full on which will give you uh, white all colors of full are white and that's pretty uh, normal on every single fixture you use that is an up light and is DMX so there you go now you got white all right we're gonna enter that next mode we have we're gonna hit our menu button these are your color settings color one is red we're gonna go right through and we got to press enter each time you can see the preset colors and then you have your pre program so you got program and you can change the speed of this but this is a fade you can see it fading on the wall you can change those, which will be different colors. So you have 10 of those. And then you have your color change. You have 10 of those, same kind of thing. You just can go through them and change them. These are presets. All right, then you can go into the A selection, which is automatic, and these are sound active. Now the change right now is set to fade. So when it hears the, uh, the sound or the, uh, in this case, the tap, it's going to fade to another color. Let's change that to a different one. It might be brighter. So you can see it fades. And then if you keep changing, we're gonna get to a color jump, same thing. And there's 10 presets that allow you to do that. And this is the same for all three lights. And then you have your flash, your strobe, and this is, uh, this can be changed in speed. All right, that is your DMX. This is your level as far as brightness goes. And I mentioned earlier, this is like a one through 99 thing. One is way low. That is bright as it can go, that's 99. So it's one through 99 on the level. I'm gonna keep it 10 just for when I put it back on the stand. This is for the uh, speed of the pre-programs. So we can speed it up. It's one through 10, we can slow it down. One being the slowest. And then this is the volume of the mic for the sound active. That is your T. And this is sensitivity. One is supposed to be the easiest and it will always be on white when you start but if you put into a sound active mode it'll be whatever one you do but this is a good way to test it and then as you turn it up it should be less sensitive and 10 being the uh, least and you definitely have to create a little more sound to get it to go and that is pretty much how they all are all these fixtures are pretty much the same exact thing every letter means the same thing uh, the only difference is the Tetra bar has 32 colors. It has 14 regular colors, and then the rest of them are multicolors. So the bar will be split up a little bit differently because it has the separate channels within it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of those on for you to see in the background. And as you can see right now, the Tetra bar is two different colors. These are pre-programmed. So you can see like purple and green right now. I'm gonna go ahead and reach back here and, and switch these up because I don't wanna take this thing down. All right, so we have that, dual colors, multiple colors, it's just sweet. And like I said, you can go up here and you can, you can select the ones that you need. If you just wanted to use it as a wash or you want to use it as an uplight, 
you can have these cool little selections of colors. And these are already pre-done, so that's like pink and purple, which is neat. We have, we have blue, orange, green, and red. You can see four separate channels going, which is nice. And then we have some really fun colors. And these are all pre-programmed. So I really like this texture bar, to be honest with you. So I went ahead and just put that back up here on the lighting stand. You can see that the Tetra 6 is red. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug a DMX cable from the output to the input, from the output to the input. And I'm going to put these all on DMX channel 1. And we're going to use this to master slave them or control them. I don't know if that's politically correct to say anymore, but that's the terminology in lighting. All we did is we took this and put it on the selected color for now, which was color 1. And then we put, ahead, put these all in 4 channel four channel control by using their identity setting in these. So we put 4C, 4C, click, 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 and both on D1. And then if we come over here and change these, I'm gonna go on up for colors. We can go right down the line. So they will all follow each other, nice and simply. And then even your chase pattern. So if we go into chase pattern p f5 fade 5 you'll see that they're all slowly fading exactly the same which is cool so cool i mean they made it so easy tetra control venue lights are very easy um, we're going to go into a jump pattern pattern uh, c6 same thing all working right off of whatever i punch in the one that's next to me all right and then we're going to go into sound active so if we add a beat I'm going to tap on the lights. And then we got different different ones here, so we have different colors. So you can see they're all following each other in the sound active modes. And we can do sound active, we can do sound active fades. As long as you press the right buttons on the back, and I'm happy to show you how to do that. These are nice lights. We got them fading in and out. Um, once again, very simple to use. I really like them. I really like the Tetra bar. So if you got any questions, please leave in the comments below. These fixtures are available at Guitar Center. The Tetra bar, I believe, is $149.99. The Tetra 12 is $99.99. And the Tetra 6, $79.99. If I'm going out to buy anything, I'm buying a Tetra bar. Uh, depends what you're using them for, but I love the Tetra bar. And if you would, kindly give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. Check out the links below. And also, watch the next video on Tetra Control. We're going to wire these into this DMX unit. And we're going to show you all these fun preset things you can do with this. The foot pedal that comes with it for ease of use. And um, I'm going to tell you how to use it real quick because it's uh, a simple, inexpensive way to make a nice light show out of your simple lights such as these. Once again, guys, my name is Chris. Thank you very much, and we will see you in the next video.